All right, let's do question four. So question four, a little bit more involved, but we can do it. We just need to be methodical. Lee's parents plan to celebrate his 21st birthday. This special event will be held at a popular hotel starting at six o'clock. Table four below shows some of the budgeted expenses for the party. Okay, so there's the cost of the venue, there's a deposit and the amount on the day, food and drinks, birthday cake, oh, it's an expensive cake. Then options for the, the disc jockey, the DJ, we have three here, DJ Rain, DJ Five Star and DJ Cool. So DJ Rain is 4,000 for five hours or less. Thereafter, the tariff is additional 1,250 per hour. A DJ Five Star is just a thousand rand per hour, um, or part thereof. That's quite important. We'll see later as we move through the questions. And then DJ Cool is just six thousand for the party. Okay, so no difference depending on hours. It's just a flat rate. Okay, so then it says, use the table, uh, use table four and the information above to answer the questions that follow. The table below represents the costs of DJ Rain. So it's this one over here, just so that we know what we're talking about. So what they've done is they've put the costs that were in words over there and they've put them into a table over here, okay? So remember it said 4,000 for five hours. So we assume that this would be 4,000 as well, right? Because those are the first five hours. Then after that, there's a tariff, an additional tariff of 1,250 per hour. So after five hours, we start adding this per hour, right? So I'm just kind of putting that in there so I'm, I'm understanding what it is that's being asked because I don't want to get like super, you know, like um, confused by all of these things. So I've literally taken the words and I've put them into this table. Let's just see what it's asking us. So it says, write a formula to calculate the cost to hire DJ Rain for more than five hours in the following form. Okay, so we have to say cost and it says more than, where does it say that? More than five hours. Okay, so let's try see if we can do this. Okay. Um, so we're going to say um, 4.1.1 and we're just going to say A. Just remember to always label your questions correctly. So we're going to say he's definitely going to pay 4,000, right? Because remember, it's 4,000 for the first five hours, right? And it's not 4,000 per hour. It's just a 4,000 flat rate for the first five hours. Then after that, you're going to pay an additional 1,250, right? But that has to be multiplied by the number of hours. So I'm just going to put this in brackets. Number of hours more than five, right? Because this here accounts for the five first five hours and then here accounts for everything after the first five hours so you can't just say one two five zero you have to times it by the number of hours so if that was let's say it was seven hours you say four thousand and then you say one two five zero and then you times it by two because there's only two hours that are more than five hours so that would be that so it requires a bit of logical thinking but not beyond that just have to work slowly okay let's look at the next question it says Complete the table by calculating the missing values P, Q, and R. Okay, so I kind of really did that um, as I just looked at the table. But now let's do it formally. So we can say P would equal 4,000. Please just put in your RAND value there because it, it is an amount, right? It is a, a cost. Um, Q, Q is going to be 4,000 plus 1250 because Q is at um, my sixth hour. So it's going to be... 4,000 plus 1250, which you can put in your calculator, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to do it in my head. There's my answer there. Then R is going to be 8, right? Whatever the cost was for 8, but we have to add another 1250 because it's an additional hour, right? So we're going to say 7750 plus 1250, which if I'm not mistaken is 9,000. Again, you can put that into your calculator. But that's just how I want you to work things out. Okay, so that's us done there. Not too difficult, but have to be quite methodical in our thinking. Let's move on to the next question. So there's a lot of um, questions here which are like part. So you just need to be a little bit careful. So the graphs showing the cost to hire DJ Five Star and DJ Cool are shown on the answer sheet. So here, here's the answer sheet. 
just be careful that you have this obviously always fill this in very important i'm not going to fill that in now because obviously they were just doing a prac exam but make sure that you have this um you'll see here there's dj star and there's dj cool so dj cool remember was the flat amount and then dj five star is this kind of increasing like that okay um so let's read the question. So it says, name the type of graph used to represent the cost of DJ five star. Okay, so let's go look over here. DJ five star is over here, DJ five star. So these are the ones going up like this. That is called a stepwise graph. Okay, you can also call it this. You can also call it a step graph, but the, the, the common term also used is called step wise graph and you can kind of see that visually right it's almost like these are stairs right if you were walking you'd like walk up the stairs so that's why it's called step wise let's move on to the next question here so the next question here is use table five so we have it up here and it says showing um use table five showing the cost of hire for dj rain for up to nine hours to draw a line graph on the same grid on the answer sheet Okay, so let's do this. Okay, so what we're definitely going to have to do is we're going to have to put a little grid. So I'm going to put this in over here. I'm going to say a little pink like this. It's probably best to do it in pencil first because um, sometimes you can get it, do it wrong, right? We know that in exams, sometimes we um, can do things incorrectly. So just be careful there, DJ Rain. So now let's look here. DJ Rain up to five hours which is four thousand so let's find four thousand there's four thousand and it's up to five right so the whole way across here is going to be that right but then we have to go up right so at six hours it was we just did it over here we just calculated it um five thousand two hundred and fifty so let's go up here so there's six and it's probably around there okay then seven seven if we look on our sheet over here seven is uh six thousand five hundred so we're gonna go up here six thousand five hundred is over here now you'll actually see that this line for dj cool that they've actually done here it's actually wrong because they are putting it at six thousand five hundred and yet the question says for d um, for dj cool sorry for dj cool they've said it's six thousand five hundred but the question over here actually says 6,000. So just be careful. You don't want to um, get stuck on that. It's just an error that they've done. It doesn't impact you. But just do note that when you're graphing. So we've done for seven. We still have to do for eight and nine. Eight is 7,750. So eight, there's 7,000. It's kind of closer there. And then nine, we did the calculation over here, um, is 9. Thousand. Okay, so we're going to put it up there. It's probably best to use a ruler. I just don't have one with me right now. So just draw a line there and you've done it, right? Let's just see if it asked us for anything else. So it says use the table to draw a line graph and we've done that, right? Done that well, we've labeled it and we're ready to go. Okay, so that's that. We've done that. Put that aside. Obviously, remember to um, uh, uh, hand that in when you hand in your paper you don't want to lose parts or things like that but let's now move on to 4.1.3 so you can just say here done on answer sheet okay let's do 4.1.3 lee's parents decide to hire dj five star for the 21st birthday party okay so dj five star dj five star is this thousand rand per hour that's DJ five star. Um, okay, it will provide the music entertainment from six until one thirty. Determine the total budgeting expenses. So we need to determine what it is for DJ five star, but then we have to also add it to all the other expenses, right? So it's it's a bit of a meteor question, and you can see it from the five marks. So let's first work out for DJ five star. So we have to say, well, he's going to go from six p.m. to one thirty a.m. How many hours is that? Well. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1 and a half. So it is 7.5 hours. Okay. But it does say over here that for DJ 5 star, it's a thousand rand per hour or part 
thereof. So it means that as soon as you get more than seven hours, you actually pay for eight hours. So you're actually going to pay for eight hours. Okay, so you can pay for eight hours. And because it's a thousand rand per hour, you can say eight times a thousand gives me eight thousand. So that's what I'm going to pay for the DJ. But the question asks, determine the total budget, um, the total budgeting expenses for the party. So now we have to say, okay, there's my DJ. What about all these other things? There's a deposit and there's on the day. So we're going to say the deposit plus the expenses on the day. That's for the venue. Food is 18,000. And then birthday cake is 1250. Are there any other expenses? No, because we're only hiring one DJ. We're going to add all of these together. You don't have to put the rand into, <clears throat> into the um, uh, actual uh, equation there. You can just put it at the end. Just check I'm putting everything in correctly. Remember that's one of the biggest errors that students make. Add that up. And it is 34,000. Right, um, thirty-four thousand one hundred eighty-five rand. Okay, and that's the total budget for this party. It's not a cheap one, but obviously they wanted to have a big party. Let's do the last question for this video. Give one reason why Lee's parents did not choose DJ Cool. Now, as many reasons they could have maybe not chosen DJ Cool. Maybe they didn't want to pay a flat fee. Maybe they had. Maybe um, the DJ had a bad reputation. You can say anything like that. Um, the thing is, the flat fee, the flat fee for DJ Five Star was, I mean, DJ Cool um, over here was actually just 6,000 rand. So it was actually cheaper than what we ended up paying for DJ Five Star. So the flat fee is actually not a bad thing. So I wouldn't have said that as region. So I'll say maybe bad reputation, right? So these sort of things just kind of do off the top of your head. You don't have to um, like think too deeply about it. You can say maybe bad reviews, um, yeah, something like that. Okay, that is our question done. Let's move on to the second half of four point or of question four.